Hey guys, it's Matt back with you at the Legacy Brick Studios channel, and today we're going to be doing some clone weapons customs. And by far, these videos have been the most viewed on my channel, and it is amazing to see your responses to them. Oh my gosh, my phone. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and today we're going to have a heavy blaster. Um, not exactly canon in the Star Wars universe, but it looks very, very cool. And we also are going to be having a flamethrower, and it looks amazing. It's very detailed. You don't exactly need all these pieces. I tried to make it as simple as I could for you guys. So let's get right into the builds for them. So to start off for our flamethrower, we have a flame piece right here which you absolutely need for your build. You know, there's some pieces that you need and some that you just, you know, don't. And the flame is one that you do. We also have a blue, dark blue, conical, translucent piece right here. And next we have a, I'm not exactly sure what to call it, um, a, a black piece. You can see through it. You can put a piece in and get out the other side. We have a blaster slash megaphone piece it's an older one and we also have a actually two whoops we are we actually have two uh what are they called cylinder pieces and next we have a dark bluish gray handle piece uh, and also a square tile piece a one by zero or maybe it's called a one by one not exactly sure um, but then we have a grabber piece kind of a droid hand type deal and also a cheese slope right there and lastly a screwdriver piece kind of a weird one but it adds a lot of detail to the build so let's get right to the actual build here we're going to start off with our uh blaster piece right here and add on the end of that i'm sorry the other end <laughs> a cylinder piece right here and then after that we're going to put on a square tile then add on the end of that our cheese slope um, it looks very accurate. It, it adds a lot of back detail to it, and it just adds a lot more length to go over our clone's shoulder. So, yeah. Next, we're going to add um, oh, our handlebar piece onto that. So, the trooper can grab both that and that. And then we're going to add on our... Uh, what is it our you know grabber piece right there and we're gonna clip on the end of that our screwdriver looks very more detailed but it you know you're, you don't, you're not gonna find that piece very easily but it just adds more detail if you have it right I guess right there so then we're gonna add our uh, piece that you can clip onto that I don't exactly know what to call it that's the one but um, it, it allows the build to actually work you know it, it's not really without it it wouldn't work see if you put on this piece right here let's say you do that and then put on our flame piece it, it doesn't fit in it doesn't work so the build is actually needed with this piece right here that we can clip onto it um, so there you have that right there you have to have it so next we're going to add on our other cylinder piece and that's basically the build right there whoops but we're gonna add on our conical translucent then our flame and there you have the flame thrower and we're gonna clip it on our guy right here kind of hard to fit on him uh, you're gonna make sure the hand on the left side of it is down and the other is facing inward to the trooper as you can see right here and clip it on like so it's kind of hard to do 
but once you get it it looks very nice and unfortunately it won't really want to stand up on its own but if you clip it onto you know a base plate or something like that it fits very nicely so there you have your flame thrower so next we have our heavy blaster and here are the pieces for it to start off building we have our you know regular clone trooper blaster and it looks nothing like a regular blaster in star wars but oh well so you add on the cylinder actually wait let's just let's just show you the pieces so you have that and then you have a uh technic connector a dark blue gray cylinder um again color does not matter but next we have one of these arm grabbing pieces right there and we also have a another you know technic connector and a smooth tile whoops right here so yeah there we have our pieces but to start off we have our blaster and we're going to connect onto that our cylinder piece on the end like so and then we're going to add our Technic, whoops, our Technic piece in like that, and you gotta kinda push it up a little bit. It's gonna leave some space on the inside of the blaster for extra room and extra space to clip another piece in. Then we're gonna add this guy on the end of it, whoops, and then we're gonna add our uh, piece that we're gonna clip on right there with a stud on the end, and we're gonna be able to clip onto that our smooth tile so there you have the heavy gun it looks very nice it, it's not canon in the Star Wars universe but it does look very cool in Lego right here so then we're gonna clip onto our trooper but you have to have the hands just right with it facing on the bottom on the right and the other facing up so there you have it and we're just gonna clip it on right here like so, and it's kind of hard to fit on, kind of falls off and stuff, but once you get it on, it looks looks very nice, looks very presentable, and there you have it right there. Whoops, hold on, let's get it on. It is hard to get on, but we have it, and it, it does stand up nicely by itself. And it looks very nice on our trooper right here. So, yeah. And we're going to stick our flamethrower trooper right here. Like I said, it does not want to like to stand up by itself. Let's move this guy over here. And, whoops. We're going to stick our flamethrower trooper right there. And, actually, let's just move that into the camera, actually. So, we have it like that. So, there we have our two weapons of choice. The heavy blaster and the flamethrower and I chose to put them with the 501st troopers because you know 501st rocks and they're my favorite troopers and they look really cool but they look really cool on any clone trooper as well and I actually posted this picture to Twitter quite a while ago but I never got around to actually making the video for it and the weapon design did change a little bit along the way as well so if you noticed any difference there that's that's very well true so yeah guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a, a like down below, uh, comment as well. It's always much appreciated. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you choose to use these, if you find design flaws, if you think that something works better, let me know. Put it down in the comments so that everybody can read it and they'll know as well. I tried to pick pieces that you guys would be able to access very easily not having to you know steal it off your sets a lot of them could be extra pieces you get from sets as well but there we have them guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next videos have a nice day guys and bye bye